Morning everyone. So come down uh, down the local down at Campbell's Cove. I'm gonna put the new Abu Red Max through its paces. Yeah, this is the Abu Red Max here. Seven foot, two to four kilo, uh, light two piece spin combo. You got the Abu Red Max reel, Red Max 30 reel. Uh, spooled up with eight pound braid and I've got six pound fluorocarb leader on it. Uh, I'm just gonna flick some soft plastics around with that. I'm in the new kayak today. This is the new kayak here. This is the, I think it's the Primal Legend kayak uh, from BCF. I'm just gonna put it through its paces today as well. See how stable it is. Maybe give it an on water review. Uh, this is the first time I've taken it out. Um, I've also got the Abu Veritas travel rod on the other side there with the Roxani 2500. Uh, let's get stuck in. We'll see if we can get a fish and cheers guys. Enjoy the video. As you can see guys, can't get a much better day for kayaking. Birds out on the water, almost dead flat. Um, low tide is in about three and a half hours. Because we've got the tide going out, I'm not having much luck casting out into the deep and bringing it back. So I'm trying the other way. So I'm going to cast into the shallows and hop it back out into the depths following the tide out. And hopefully there's a flatty or two sitting in one of the little drop-offs, the little gutters waiting for a little bait fish to come past. I've changed lures to the little Savage Gear Pro Grub in motor oil. As you can see, I've got the other rod out. That's got the Ecoda uh, prawn just bouncing off the bottom as we're drifting, or, drifting around with the weedless hook, weedless worm hook on it. And for those that have seen the previous videos, same technique with the with the grub. It's pretty much with any soft plastic. You just want to bounce it off the bottom. Just giving it two or three quick lifts off the bottom and letting it flutter back down. I'm only using the quarter ounce jig head because we're not drifting very fast. Um, so it's on the bottom and I want to keep it as close to the bottom as I can. Oh, yep. Yes. Finally. Now, I didn't bring my net, so this could be fun on the light leader I have. Hey, there we go. First fish on the new Red Max rod. First fish on the new Red Max rod, and yet again, the Savage Gear Pro Grub, quarter ounce jig head, motor oil, does the trick again. Beauty. There you go guys. Nice little flatty, first flatty of the morning. First flatty on the new Red Max rod. Beauty. Yep, 
Dijon. Oh, it is, ain't it? Little. Jumping, whatever it is. Oh, a little salmon. Oh, try that again. Oh, there's a school of salmon around. Salmon. Hit it on the drop. There he goes. Off he goes. On the prawn. There you go, guys. Another nice little flatty caught on the Yakota prawn. And as you've seen, all I've been doing with that, we'll just cast it out. And as we're drifting, the prawn's just bouncing off the bottom. Sure enough, this hungry little guy couldn't help himself. Conditions are uh, getting a little bit worse than what they were meant to be. I think I might have a couple more casts. And call it a morning, I think. Two fish so far. I'm going to pick up a third. Yep, there we go. There's the third. Hopefully he stays connected. Head into the current. Again, no net. Hasn't realised he's hooked yet. Just coming up with the current. Absolutely engulfed that lure. And there it is. Oh, yeah. There we go. A third fish of the morning. Couldn't have predicted that any better if I tried. Right. Ow. There we go, guys. Another nice little flatty. As we've seen guys, the Abbey Red Max handles itself pretty well, handles those flatties pretty well. Um, it's almost the perfect little soft plastics rod, um, nice and light, good casting range. Well, I've only got a quarter ounce jig head on and getting a half decent cast with that into the wind. It's going to be a nice little light estuary. I'll probably use it for light estuary, um, as you can see, shallow out in the bay. Um, definitely going to be one of my top soft plastics rods. Yep, Pichon. Oh, I missed him. Oh no, still there. Called gummy shark on a soft plastic. <laughs> Alrighty, that's that's a first. 
There we go. Uh, sit down, Spaz. Jeez. There we go, guys. There we go, guys. Nice little pup gummy shark. Caught on, would you believe it or not, the Savage Gear Pro Grub in motor oil. And away he goes. That is a first for me. There we go, everyone. That was a quick little session. A lot rougher out there than what it looks here, that's for sure. Nice, calm, beautiful day here at the moment. There's today's catch. Probably close to 40. Two bigger ones are over 40. Yeah, the small ones probably high 30s, I reckon. I hope you've enjoyed that quick little session. Um, like I said, soft plastics are just so versatile. Like I've pretty much had the one soft plastic on the rod the whole time, apart from changing plastics to figure out which one was going to work on the day um, and the prawn how good did the prawn work um, I'd seen that technique used by Alan from Fishing Mad uh, in one of his videos so I thought I'd try it give it a crack and see how we go and sure enough it paid off so thanks Alan for that tip um, but anyway hope you enjoyed that video uh, please like and subscribe Cheers, guys, uh, and until next time, see you on the water. You.